All right, yeah, we're here with Chris Kramer. He's the, the main dude behind uh, Resident Evil 5. He can give us all the info on it. What is the latest? We got a lot going on tonight, Steve. We're showing off um, Resident Evil 5 in co-op mode. So we're letting people in the U.S. for the first time jump in and play Resident Evil 5 together, which is sort of the biggest change for the series. It's two-player co-op with uh, the main character and a female character? Yep. It's uh, Chris Redfield, who was the original guy back in the first Resident Evil. And he's got a new partner in this game, a woman named Sheva Alomar. So the two of them work for an organization called the BSAA, which is sort of like an anti-terror group. And they've come to uh, a small town in Africa called Kijuju. They're tracking down this bioterror uh, virus outbreak. And of course, things go very wrong as soon as they show up. What about chainsaws and weapons? What do we got? Anything new to talk about? We've got lots of stuff, uh, both incoming and outgoing. So Chris and Chev are going to have a pretty massive arsenal. In fact, it's the largest uh, amount of weapons in a Resident Evil series to date. So they're going to have a number of pistols, a number of rifles, machine guns, sniper rifles, explosives, grenades, and all sorts of other fun weapons that we're going to be showing off much later on, as well as like unlockable stuff and things that you can change. And so that's, that's for the two players to kind of swap back and forth and uh, use to take out all the bad guys. Bad guys themselves are also pretty well armed. You got guys coming at you with everything from pitchforks and torches all the way up to uh, flaming crossbows, chainsaws, uh, a eight and a half foot tall axe slash hammer combo, and uh, guys who are also wielding uh, uh, machine guns as well. So, is it always you're sticking tr uh, to the true Resident Evil gameplay with the headshots and the, all the great gore and the fantastic out of the you know out of the corner zombies coming at you? It's all there? Yeah, the, the gotcha moments. There's, uh, there are a lot of gotcha moments in Resident Evil 5. So, as, as you know, Resident Evil 4 kind of started moving a lot more toward the kind of like the action range, a little bit more out of what, you know, survival horror had become kind of uh, crammed into a corner in terms of like, this is what a survival horror game is. Resident Evil 4 kind of broke down the walls of what survival horror is. And Resident Evil 5 is kind of continuing that path. It's building out on the action. So there are moments in the game that are terrifying, but you're not like always out of ammo. You're not like always up against it. You know, like in Resident Evil 4, you feel like you've got a little bit more in the control of the situation. When you add to that, that you're always with a partner, it, uh, it adds a whole different dynamic to the way that the series is played. Wow, interesting. What about some of the things that you would collect? I remember in Resident Evil 4, there were, you know, different types of herbs and all these things when you go into a little shed, you'd find all these little collectibles. What types of things can we expect in this one? You, you cannot have a Resident Evil game without the herb, because that's what the game is all about. If you don't have the herb, you're not living long in that game. So uh, it's very interesting the way it works. Part of the, the, the way that people are encouraged to do in co-op is if you use the health sprays or the herb, um, they're actually uh, area effect. So if you use it when you're standing next to your partner, both of you are healed. So if your partner sees that you're in a bad way and uses it on you, you know, your partner also gets a bonus. So it's really, there are all these small things they're doing in the game to really encourage people to play together. Because a natural instinct, you know, in a game like this is like, you just start running because things are happening. You're like, oh my God, oh my God. But uh, in RE5, you're encouraged to like stick close to your partner, you know, because your partner's going to be healing you, providing cover fire, making sure that you've got essentially eyes in the back of your head. So. Um, Healing up your partner and working together is, is sort of like the secret sauce for success in the game. Well, we're really looking forward to it, and I know everybody wants to know that you're still on track for that March 13th release date. March 13th, 2009. It's a Friday the 13th, so we're very excited. And I'm sure we'll have launch parties the Thursday night before at various retail outlets, right? Yeah, there'll be a bunch of midnight openings. We'll also be doing um, a pretty large community event. Uh, so we'll be, uh, you know, opening the doors somewhere to let in a bunch of very excited Capcom fans to uh, get in on the Resident Evil 5 action early. So uh, if people want to get their chance to see RE5 early, they need to make sure they're checking out our awesome community site, which is uh, Capcom-Unity.com, um, and they can get in, join the army, and uh, they might be able to get their hands on the game early. Hey, thanks a lot, Chris. Thanks, Steve.